Enclosure and chromatic approach jazz lick. This time I was thinking about only two chord qualities for the lick. Wines E7 and Wines E minor. The wax over the 251 chord changes, even though there are three chords. Uh, let me show you how it works in the components of it. The first one, it goes from G to G sharp, which is chromatic approach towards the third, major third of the E7 chord. And this was almost like arpeggio of E7 itself, G sharp, B, D, and E, major third, fifth, fret 7, and root, and uh, F is fret 9. And this is enclosure F D sharp E. So that part is very strong or E7 sound. The next one goes this part like I feel the strong resolution towards A minor. Fifth of A minor which is E and the second fourth towards minor third and then major 7 G sharp 9th to the root A that's another enclosure towards the A minor chord then this is exactly the same notes E F D sharp E as here and that passage because also it has a B and D notes um, which is a chord tone of E7 I feel like this is like E7 quality and at the end A minor so let me show you how it works with the uh, chords when there's a comping playing one, two, three, so the E7 arpeggio I think it works everywhere even it's A minor okay and if I do that, um, I'm not thinking about the chord changes too much, like I'm not following the changes, but I'm implementing E7 on top of the chord changes. This E7 arpeggio works everywhere, and it's pretty cool. And yeah, let's keep it that way. Okay, uh, I'm gonna continue do the A minor or uh, enclosure approach using the triad of A minor, A and C and E. <laughs> It has a nice like old school feel but I still like putting some E7 here and there although again like I was only playing a minor uh, quality I was trying to aim aiming you know a minor but the comping is playing E7 and B minor as well so you know that that's how it works um 
somehow. Okay. Like this E flat note is a like blue note, right? So sometimes I I th I can think like uh, playing like C minor, C D E flat, and then B. This is kind of like a C minor chord for me. But you know, like coming back to A minor, of course. Uh, anyways, anyways, I was trying to explain that that um, chord change is a basic, and like we definitely have to learn that. But like when we play solos, um, a lot of times there's a lot of our chord arpeggios that can be played on top of them. Try this lick. Especially this first half is uh, not too difficult. Um, try this lick on top of like A minor uh, chord changes, like something like sum summertime. Um, yeah, I think it works. And see, you know, you can get away from the chord changes and play something on top of it and that kind of gives me the feeling of the freedom a little bit more than uh, playing the changes all, all the time although it's very important to become able to play the changes especially it works for the comping for sure so yeah let me know what you think in the comment if this is something new or if you know that already or if you want to hear something more advanced etc etc so thank you for watching again and I catch you in the next video.